It's a cool death scene. It was really fun. This is the last thing where he gets taken into the quarantine, and then um, a couple minutes later, we see blood hit the cart. I am attacked by the parasites that fall off the creature. I get killed by, like, the creature's little brother. I feel bad for Lizzie because she has to put these really thick blood drops into her eye. It looks really uncomfortable. Bleeding out of your eyes isn't good, apparently. Die. We love the idea that Marlena would explode, but we didn't want to show it in a way that would be really sort of off-putting and, and repulsive in a way that might shock you out of the film. We've got our air motor here. We've got a piston on the air motor that basically is pushing out the blood. The blood is made up of uh, food coloring, Cairo syrup, and chocolate syrup to give it some darkness. And we have little bits of cork to make it look like there's some uh, innards coming out as well. Guys in the hazmat suits, they haven't washed them all month, and they smell awful. <laughs> So the idea was to do it behind these kind of opaque sheets where her shadow's there. And as we started to work on that effect, some people were getting the feeling that she was being shot instead of that she was exploding. There was a point at which I started thinking, well, that's fine too, because it means that whatever's happening to her, this infection is so bad and so virulent and maybe so dangerous to everyone around them that maybe the only thing the military can do is suddenly kill civilians or anyone who gets this. And that idea was terrifying to me. So in a way, I started thinking, well, both work. Ah!